Now, as we've been discussing, the closure of state borders remains contentious and, so far, open-ended. Four states, Tasmania, South Australia, Western Australia and Queensland, have their borders effectively closed. If you cross their borders from another state, you've got to go into two weeks of quarantine. New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian is leading the push to have us behave more like a federation than a bunch of independent countries. We intend to keep our, our borders open. We think that's best for New South Wales. You know, we're not going to be lectured to by a state that has the highest number of cases in Australia. I think it's quite rational for the other jurisdictions to say, look, we think at, at this stage we sh you should stay put. The view that they take is a matter for them. The view that I'll take is what's in the best interest of Tasmania. If we keep our borders closed, uh, we can actually accelerate uh, lifting restrictions in our state. If we open up all of the national borders, well, we can really only move as fast as the slowest jurisdiction. We're all adults and we should be able to have this conversation. Uh, this isn't personal, this is about doing what we believe is in the best interest of our citizens. Now, the National Cabinet was a great initiative, but it seemed to find plenty of consensus in shutting the country down. Probably went too far too soon, but better to be safe than sorry. Now, Scott Morrison needs to find a way to ban the pre bang, I think bang the Premier's heads together because four states are holding back our recovery, slowing down the revival of our economy and our society. And this is crushing people and their livelihoods. And it's also not what we were promised when we accepted the shutdowns. We were told we would slow the spread and then open up when we had things under control. Now the Premier seemed to have changed all the rules on us and people are suffering needlessly.